Amethyst Initiative was launched in July 2008 and is comprised of university presidents from across the nation. Regardless of what many think, the Amethyst Initiative is not a proposal to lower the drinking age. Standing as to exactly what this is, the Amethyst, Amethyst Initiative itself merely is to open the dialogue on college campuses, and many people have misinterpreted this as any university that signs on is saying, we agree to lower the drinking age. In fact, there's a lot of misunderstanding <laughs> as to what the Amethyst Initiative actually is. On American University's campus, students strongly agree with the initiative and would support a lower drinking age. I support it. I support it fully. Um, personally, I think lowering the drinking age is a very good thing. For it. You're for it. Why? Yeah. Um, I think it would just curb um, irresponsible drinking. However, many university officials think otherwise. I believe lowering the drinking age for college students will have absolutely no impact on drinking whatsoever mm -hmm. because I believe that the current drinking age is simply unenforceable. Uh, I've Basically, you're saying it won't make a difference if right. they lower the drinking. It's still going to be a problem. Right, right, because so the people people who who are are under 18, under 21, are already drinking, mm -hmm. and they're and and um, in many of the surveys that the colleges are doing, the students are coming there with drinking habits to begin right. with already. The reasoning behind the initiative was to begin taking strides against binge drinking. According to the Department of Health, 90% of alcohol consumed by youth under the age of 21 years is in the form of binge drinking. Associate Dean of Students at American University, Sarah Waldron, realizes there's a problem with binge drinking on, on AU's campus and thinks something needs to be done about it soon. Our problems come from, that's where our transports come yeah. from, that's where so often sexual assault comes from. Uh, that is often where we have students who are involved in physical altercations. That's where we have vandalism with people who are just so heavily intoxicated and often as a result of the binge drinking. How will AU's President Neil Kerwin handle the Amethyst Initiative? According to Dean Waldron, it's unsure of exactly what will happen. It's less likely that AU would sign because of the misperception about what that meant. But I think, is AU open to the dialogue? Absolutely. Currently, the conversation on the initiative has come to a halt. And for now, university officials and students alike will continue to act just the way they have been. Year old and 20 year olds are already drinking. And, you know, that's evidenced by the statistics that we have of taking people to the hospital. And we don't do anything to people who we take to the hospital who are under 21 for uh, intoxication.